From Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 5. First at five, another Rob, another local athlete, gets ready for his big night. Glenview native Brian Hansen is the youngest speed skater on Team USA. NBC5's Phil Rogers has the story of how he almost didn't make it to Vancouver. 90 miles north of Chicago, a select group of U.S. speed skaters prepared for these games in Milwaukee on one of only two speed skating ovals in America. We only make it look easy only because we train hours and hours a day. It's, it's way harder than, uh, than we make it look. One of those skaters, Brian Hansen of Glenview, didn't even know a year ago if he could compete. Because of a disc injury, he couldn't even bend over the critical stance in speed skating. Doctors prescribed a series of rigorous exercises to get him back in competitive shape. Racing the clock, Brian endured the pain to earn a spot as the youngest speed skater on the U.S. team. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to feel pain and you're going to have to work through it. Indeed, speed skating is one winter sport where the workouts on the ice are only one part of an intense training regimen. That's why speed skaters are good at weights, and then on the other hand, they also run for workout. This weekend, the 19-year-old from Glenview is slated to compete in the men's 1500. Here in Vancouver, his father called it almost surreal to see his son walking into the stadium as an Olympic athlete. He's already said he's had his Olympic experience. He's gone to the opening ceremonies. Uh, he's in the Olympic Village. He's seeing all these other athletes. He sits down with them at uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And he comes back with a story every day. This has been my goal and my dream for a long time. So um, I'm just happy to be going and happy to be representing something bigger than myself, like, like the United States. Brian is not expected to medal in the 1500, but the great Bonnie Blair is a big fan. In fact, she said, I don't think he knows what he is capable of. He skates later in these games in the team pursuit. That's the latest from Vancouver. I'm Phil Rogers, NBC5 News. All right, thanks to Phil. So here is the latest medal count. The United States is leading with 18 medals, followed by Germany with 11, then Norway and Canada. We're doing good. We're doing pretty good.